Welcome back to yet another one hour of maps, where I compiled together all of the previous maps I've used in my videos. Enjoy! This first map shows us the most popular religion in every country. Now, the most popular religion in the world is Christianity. Around 31% of the world's population are Christians, closely followed by Muslims at 25%. But did you know that Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world right now? Tell me in the comments, which religion are you? Well, well, what you're seeing is a map showing the potential European Union living names of every country. I love how Poland is no land. This is my favorite one. And Espanyol as well. It sounds epic. But as we all know, Brexit was actually a real thing. But I think most of the people in the United Kingdom are not happy with not being in the European Union. A guy from Reddit found this map on a wall from a hotel in China. What the hell is going on here? First of all, putting Afghanistan next to Canada and the United States is a freaking ballsy move. Then, Africa has been colonized by Belarus. And what the hell is Ukraine doing in Australia together with Vietnam? But Russia and China switched is just next level. You know what, I will let you enjoy this map for a few seconds. Here's a lovely map showing where the Roman Empire and the Romans had traveled in 150 years after Christ. I mean, meeting someone from a truly unknown culture must have been so fascinating. Because Han Dynasty existed in China at the same time. As well, I wonder whether they reached the North Sentinel Island or no. This next map shows us the African country's GDP per capita. The richest country by GDP per capita in Africa is the Seychelles. They have a GDP per capita of $21,000 in 2023. But the poorest country in Africa according to the GDP per capita is South Sudan. Anyway, now ignoring all the other countries, can we talk about how based Botswana is? Their GDP per capita is more than South Africa. Hold up, I have a question. So, if this is Latin America, then wouldn't this be considered as Germanic America? No, but seriously, why is this term not used more often? I know that Latin Americans get so angry when America is considered as the United States. Anyways, now that we already mentioned Americans, then this one is for you. Can you name the country? Because 90% can't. If you guessed it, good job. It is the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. And what about this continent? Can you name it? Again, if you did, good job. This is Africa. This one shows us how many males exist for every 100 females. Globally, there are more men, but the reverse is true in some countries. Now, the reason a country might have more women than men is war, alcoholism and being from Portugal. This is one of those rare times that there is actually data available for Western Sahara and Greenland as well. Whoa. Qatar is just messed up. 266 men for 100 women. But I guess these are just the international workers. Average speed of trains in Europe. Bro, riding a bicycle is faster than taking a train in Albania. That means I'm sure the Albanian trains are still pulled by horses. Also, Spain, you can calm down a bit. Joder, vas muy rápido, coño. Anyways, tell me in the comments, what is the fastest train you have ever taken or have you ever been on a train? The most popular messaging app in every country of the world. The most popular, as we can see, is WhatsApp with 2 billion worldwide users. The second most popular messaging app in the world is WeChat from China with 1.3 billion users. 
And then comes in the third place Facebook Messenger with 1 billion worldwide users. Again, tell me in the comments, which one do you use? This map shows us how many guns are in a country for every 100 people. The United States, of course, leads the world in civilian gun ownership with a rate of 120 firearms per 100 people. 120 freaking guns per 100 people. Americans, you are crazy. Now, the country with the least civilian guns is South Korea, with 0.2 guns owned per 100 people. That is 500 times less than freaking Americans, bro. Europe, let's come together. This is Europe according to Eurovision. Oh well, here we go, am I right? First of all, we have freaking Australia here. Meanwhile, a lot of European countries are not included. The Polish flag, for whatever reason, is reversed, so it's just a huge Monaco. And the Netherlands, they need to be removed, am I right? Because they were disqualified. Wrongly. To be honest, Eurovision this year was so bad that I will quit watching it in the future. Did your country eat your prime minister? Netherlands, I need some explanations here. And Australia, did your prime minister really do this in McDonald's, bro? Anyways, I just love how they put no data on Greenland and Western Sahara. Cherry on the cake for this map. Listen up, the countries in blue had diplomatic relations with Israel in 1975 and now let's compare it to 2022. Iran was one of the first countries to recognize Israel. The updated map in 2025 should be interesting, I think. So tell me, does your country recognize Israel and do you agree with it? Bosnians, I wanna swim. Croatia, no. Yeah, but did you know that there is actually a small entrance to the sea for Bosnians in the south? I think it's about 20 kilometers of sea and beach access. If you are Bosnian, tell me, do you use that beach or just go to Croatia for your vacation? Which hunt victims in Middle Ages of Europe? Different sources say that between 40,000 to 500,000 witches were burned in the Middle European Ages. This is freaking wild. 85% of them were women. Global cancer rates in people under 50 years old. Well, 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 Australia is the skin cancer capital of the world. Stay safe out there, Australians. Plus, you have like 50 of the deadliest animals as well. Crazy lads. The second country where you would most probably get cancer is New Zealand and the United States is ranked fourth. On the other hand, I don't know why, but the reported figures from Middle Eastern countries are much lower. Maybe because of the clothing, what do you think? Look at this fun map, is Egypt ruled by Egyptians or no? Well, I'm actually not sure if this really qualifies as a map, but it's interesting nonetheless. My question is, since when did Muhammad Ali have a dynasty? I thought he was into boxing. And finally, to be honest, I'm a little disappointed that there are no aliens on this list. The robbery rate map of Europe. Bruh, everyone from Western Europe has always told us, Eastern Europe is so unsafe. Ah, well, take a look at this map, what the hell guys. Eastern Europe is really safe here, like 7 out of the 10 cities are French speaking. So yeah, overcrowded large cities attract a lot of robbers. Me that I live in Estonia, I really suggest Eastern Europe for traveling. Countries like Poland and Estonia, of course for holidays. It is lovely and just doesn't feel sketchy in the same way places like Paris, Brussels and Berlin do, trust me. And if you decide to travel to Estonia, just hit me up and I will be your local guide, I promise. When and where can you legally drink alcohol in India? The main question from me is, how did they come up with the ages of 23 and 25? What the hell? Did you know that the state of Bihar has a really interesting story about why drinking is illegal in there? 
It was made illegal and it prevented more than 2 million cases of intimate partner violence. But now, Indians watching this video, tell me, when did you start or have you even started drinking alcohol yet? What you're looking at are the one-party states of the world. China, Cuba, Vietnam, Eritrea, Laos and North Korea. I hope I pronounced them right. And 4 out of 6 of these flags have a star in them. They really do love stars, don't they? What is funny is that Eritrea's only party is calling itself a democracy. <laughs> but realistically, Russia should be on this map as well. What do you think? The average temperature of the coldest month in each European capital city. First of all, oh well, Portugal is no more Eastern Europe, if you know what I mean. Then I can't figure out why Riga in Latvia is so much colder than Tallinn in Estonia. Might be because happiness is not allowed in Latvia. And Latvia being colder than all of the other countries besides Russia is wild as well. The most famous artist or band from every United Kingdom and Irish county. There is not much to talk about this map since it's so detailed. I will just let you enjoy it alone and come back in 20 seconds. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Let's now move on with the next one. Countries that have similar GDPs to each region of Germany in 2022. All of this actually told me that Hong Kong is rich. And Hamburg having the same GDP as Ukraine is quite crazy. Anyways, if you think you're good at geography, I wanna see it. Name the German region that has the highest GDP and I will give your comment a heart. Countries with most UNESCO World Heritage Sites It's good to remember that countries must apply for these sites, they aren't automatically handed out by UNESCO. You see, Finland has as many sites as Egypt and more than Iraq, and if you know anything about history, that tells you all you need to know. Now a correction to this map, as of August 2024, India should actually have 42, am I right? But Turkey seems a bit undercooked here, also Peru, they should have much more. Here's a map showing what it looks like when Brazil is overlaid onto Europe. Brazil is bigger than the 48 United States states. Bro, Brazil is a jumbo sized Belarus, never would have guessed. Here's a quick interesting fact check for you. Why does France share its longest land border with Brazil? Can you answer me this? All in all, Europe is basically a small Asian peninsula. Even though Europe looked small in the last map, look at this one now. The size of the Roman Empire at its height compared to the United States right now. I think we can all agree on the fact that the Roman Empire was freaking huge. And now imagine this map with the Mongolian Empire. Now that there's war between Russia and Ukraine, flying from Seoul, South Korea to Helsinki, Finland adds some 50 or 70% of extra miles. I really wouldn't like to fly my jumbo jet plane full of passengers into Russian air. There have been many situations where passenger planes have been shot down by the Russian army. If you didn't know then one of them was called the MH17, terrible. This was the Colombian exchange. It refers to the exchange of diseases, ideas, food, crops and populations between the new world and the old world. It started out after the voyage to the Americas by Christopher Columbus in 1492. Anyways, it's pretty funny because this map looks exactly like it would be out of a school textbook. This is probably well known, but still in my opinion an interesting fact. The countries of the former Soviet Union occupy more than 50% of Europe. I really really hope this map won't become a reality again. 
but oh well, Ukrainians really are embarrassing Russia and Putin at the moment with the Kursk operation. The US count is with a life expectancy above 80 years. Well, what can I say? Good job Dakotas and Minnesota. And the fun fact is that that one county in Tennessee has an average income of 130,000 per household. For comparison, San Francisco is at about 140,000 per household. And finally, here are all the maps from all of the continents showing the fastest growing religion in every country of the world. Enjoy! These maps may raise questions and trigger a lot of people, but I will link the sources in the description. These maps are made by me and my friend. How to say March in European languages? This is actually quite surprising, as most of the languages have a similar name for March. That usually doesn't happen. But of course, then there are countries like the Czech Republic and Lithuania that live their own life. But did you know that the word March itself comes from the Latin god of war, Mars? Let it snow, let it snow. This is how you say the word snow in these European languages. So that's where the Santa's ho 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 comes from. From Hungary. Look, at this point the Romanian snow Zapada sounds more Slavic than in Slavic languages, isn't that right? Of course, in Finland and my home country Estonia, we like to be different. We say Lumi. I think it sounds pretty beautiful and different. Try saying it, Lumi. Water, agua, vesi, however you wanna call it, this is how you say water in different European languages. What's fantastic with the French language is that there are three letters, different letters of course, but together they are U. In Russia, vodka is just water with a K, voda, vodka, is that a coincidence? But again, this map shows you how similar actually the finno ugric languages are. So far, yet so similar. History is amazing, isn't it? There is so much terror and war going on in the world, so this is how you say the word peace. For Poland, it might be a bit weird because the word pokoi. Is that how you say it, pokoi? It has two meanings, peace and room. By the way, the Dutch word for peace means anger in Danish. Pretty interesting how Hungarian and Basque words for peace sound similar, even though they're so far away. Map of the quotation marks in European languages. To be honest, this just confuses my mind. I dived more deep into this and actually found out that some countries are wrong here, but Estonia, my home country, is correct at least. Europeans, tell me, is this map correct for your language? How do you say zero Fs given in different European languages? The phrase zero Fs given sounds very American, so it should be something else for the United Kingdom, like I don't give a sh yeah, that would be more common. Anyways, people from Greece, you do have elevated expressions of art. And for Spain, they used the most nice sounding one. Most people would say melasuda which means it makes it sweat. I'm not trying to be demonetized here, okay? How to say no in European languages? No, nine. A, net, nu, higher. Did I pronounce it right? Higher, Turkish people tell me. Anyways, the colors for this map might be a bit confusing, but they represent the languages that say the word no a bit similar. Do you understand? Also, it seems as though we have lost Belgium. Oh no. We already talked about March, but what about April? This is how you see it in European languages. And as always, Finnish is just vibing. Turkey as well. But Lithuanians, I think Balandis is a pretty fun word. Balandis. I figured out that Balandis literally translates to pigeon. Is that right, Lithuanians? Isn't it weird that all of North Africa calls April? More maps at jacobmarian.com. 
Let's move on with the word now. I feel like this word is the most different among all European languages. Just look at it. Almost everyone has their own version. My personal favorites here are Nuna in Iceland and Seychas in Russia. By the way, coloring Switzerland and Belgium in only one color seems scary. And what about Algerian? Is the word now really called dark in your language? Hello in European languages. This map shows us the more formal ones before the less formal ones. That means the greetings at the top are safe to say to everyone and the ones at the bottom are usually better suited for friends and family. The colors here mean the language families even though some are really different. But all in all Europeans, do you agree with this map? Tell me in the comments. <clears throat> I hope you understand that I'm playing with demonetization with this one. Here's how to say what the F in different European languages. And to make it even more fun for you, have fun watching me trying to pronounce this. Oh, que carajo. Que mierda. Ma, che caso. Chest qui se porde. Kakovo chorta. Kagres. Kar. Karetsin. What fun then? What fun? As we already looked at the word no, it's time for the word yes. I know for a fact that in Scotland they don't say yeah. If anything, it should have a yeah on there. Did you know that in Polish a more informal version of yes is no? It's pronounced a little different and it's confusing as hell, especially in conversations where you switch the languages all the time. But overall I feel like this map is just laughing at me. What about you? The word 92 may be a bit confusing in some languages. I was like what the hell looking at the French language until I noticed the no <laughs> Really, I thought the French had a rather odd way of dealing with numbers but that Danish way of saying it intimidates me a little. Like what the hell. Also, it seems as though Iceland has moved its uh, location. But to confuse you even more, in Estonia we say Uheksagument Cox. This next one shows us the translation for it's all Greek to me. That means whether a language is difficult to learn or to understand. I think I am French to this conversation has to be the best one. Meanwhile, most of the countries say it's all Chinese to me. The Germans say I understand only railway station. Scheiße. We move on with the word how in every European language and I don't even want to get started with the way Romania and Moldova say it. What the hell guys. In the Netherlands and Flanders, I know it's written ho. But it's pronounced who. As well, the French version of saying the word how is pretty surprising to me. I didn't know you said comment. The funny part here is that cock in Russian means how, but in Dutch it means she. Yeah, you know what I mean. And we go on with the number three in different European languages. And as always, the Finno Ugric languages are doing their own thing, as well as Basque and Turkish. But in all other languages, it's pretty similar to English, isn't it? 3. The percentage of homes with air conditioning across the world. You know, this is the first time I've seen Canada as no data. It's sad to see that Europe's numbers are changing and how the hell does anyone survive in Saudi Arabia with no air conditioning? Also, I expect Brazilian numbers to go up in the future. It is getting unbearably hot there because of the climate change. What you are looking at is two maps comparing the fertility rate of India in 2001 versus 2021. Basically, it's declining. I guess the main reason in India why women are not having that much children nowadays is number one, education. As women become more educated, they tend to delay marriage and childbirth. Also, in urban areas, the cost of living is higher and raising children is more expensive. Indians, do you agree? Countries using the euro as currency. My question is, how are Montenegro and Kosovo using the euro without European Union approval? 
Are they printing money illegally? Well, no. They just didn't ask the European Union and adopted the currency without permission. Welcome to the Balkans. And I love how Northern Ireland is just being the color of the background. Well, 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 let's start with the controversy. Christianity in the Middle East, what the hell? It is wild that Saudi Arabia has millions of Christians, yet they do not allow churches to be built. However, in France and other European countries, it's the opposite. That 10% figure for Syria is out of date. Due to the civil war, the estimated percentage has fallen to under 3%, largely due to emigration to Europe. And also, if you didn't know, then Lebanon used to be majority Christian. Countries where communist symbols are banned. I will tell you a story while you enjoy this map. As you already may know, I am from Estonia, the former Soviet Union country, and I have been traveling a lot in South America. People there never understood why my government is taking down all the Soviet and communist monuments. If I get the word right then, it is that we have been repressed by the Soviets and Russians for many, many years. My great-grandparents were taken to Siberia by the Soviets and I do not want to see any Soviet symbols on the streets. Knowing that this movement took my great-grandparents to Siberia. Well, well, the Arab slave trade. It officially started in 652. Every single time there is an Instagram post about this, people in the comments are like, it wasn't that bad and they were treated really well. And the other comments get deleted, because this is a really controversial topic. But don't worry, you can comment free down below. Oh well, I might have just started a war. Most countries have been colonized by Europe. Yes, this is true. My question is, how did Thailand hold out while being surrounded by colonized nations? Anyways, in compensation, Korea was colonized and exploited by China and Japan. So that leaves me with a question, has Japan never been colonized by anyone? Okay, I changed the recording room, so maybe my voice sounds different, but anyways, these are the countries where X is blocked. Well, we have to update the map because it's now blocked in Pakistan and Venezuela as well. Oh yes, all the best countries. Isn't it funny how Iran banned Twitter but Iran's supreme leader still has an account? The same goes for China, their foreign ministry is very active there. Yeah, rules for thee but not for me. What you are looking at is a map showing the spread of the industrial revolution. This one guy on reddit said, can confirm, here in Scotland we are looking forward to the arrival of the steam engine. <laughs> and poor Ireland, to this day they are still working on the fields with shovels. To be honest, this is a terrible map, way too oversimplified. Top countries losing people to emigration. In case you're wondering what's happening in Sudan, genocide. A genocide is what's happening in Sudan. As well, you might be wondering what in God's name is happening in Nepal. I imagine a similar situation to what is happening in Bhutan. Young adults living for study and work opportunities. And Pakistan is losing 1.6 million people, more than China and India. What the hell is going on there? Here's a map for the Americans. Where are you most likely to get a speeding ticket? Jeez Americans, what is going on in Ohio and Chicago? Anyways, people in the United States would hate France. And nowadays in the Eastern European countries as well. For example, in Lithuania they have these 10 km radars that can get your average speed. Oh hell no. Nah. Oh well, the United States abortion span with and without exceptions for rape. I hope not to get demonetized, so you have to figure this one out yourself.
Germany's economy is the same size as the highlighted countries. Holy freak. You might be asking, what is the population of all the yellow countries? Germany has a population of 84 million and these countries in yellow have a population of 157 million in total. Now, is gay marriage legal or illegal in every single country of the world? This is also a little promotion to my other channel called Zim Maps. And these maps are taken from that channel, so go check it out, but enjoy this one. Ahem, <clears throat> okay, meanwhile you're watching these maps, comment down below, what do you think? Should gay marriage be legal or illegal? Okay, and now quickly the last map, a lighthouse map of France. There are around 220 lighthouses in France. If you're wondering what these middle ones are doing, then they're in the rivers. Every year around 600 wild lions are killed. Making things worse, over the past decades, these predators have lost 94% of their historic range. 2000 years ago, more than 1 million lions roamed the earth. That means in 2000 years, we have lost 98% of lions. That is crazy. This next map shows us the tiger's current and historic range. Right now, about 5,500 tigers remain in the wild. But just over a century ago, 100,000 wild tigers roamed across Asia. On the bright side, the tiger population has been growing a bit in the last decades, especially in India. But leaving that out, tigers have lost around 95% of their population in the last 100 years. Also, here's a not so fun fact, tigers kill an average of 50 to 60 people a year. Moving on with the sad stories, here's the African elephant. As this map shows, the African elephant used to live in all of Africa, even in Morocco, can you believe it? 27 million was their population, but today there's only 415,000 African elephants left. That means we have lost 98% of African elephants. I wonder what will this look like in 50 years? Bruh, literally humans are destroying every animal. We move on with elephants, this time the Asian or the Indian elephant, call it how you want. Can you believe that back in the day, they used to live in Iran and most of China. Today, there are fewer than 50,000 Asian elephants left in the wild, but there used to be more than 200,000. Tell me in the comments, have you ever seen an elephant with your own eyes? This next map shows us the black rhino. Black rhinos can currently be found in 12 countries in Africa, totaling an estimated 6,500 individuals. But they used to be found in half of Africa. This one is extremely bad. Can you believe that 100 years ago, around 1 million black rhinos lived on this earth? But good news is that between 2021 and 22, there was a 4% growth in black rhino populations. We move on with rhinos, this time the white rhino. White rhinos can currently be found in 5 countries in Africa, totaling an estimated 18,000 individuals. But they used to be found across most of southern Africa. Can you believe that 100 years ago, around 100,000 white rhinos lived on this earth? That means today there are 5 times less. But good news is that between 2012 and 2017, there was a 2% annual growth in white rhino populations. Even though that's not much. Now let's move on. I will give you 5 seconds to guess this animal. 
If you did, good job. It's the giraffe and it's four species. Even though one species is not mentioned here, it's the white giraffe because there only might be one white giraffe left by now. Overall, there are only about 117,000 giraffes left in the wild now, so every giraffe is important and matters. But in the early 1900s, there used to be a million. What the hell humans, we shouldn't exist. Just compare the panda population in the 18th century and today. This is crazy sad. And now, look at the prehistoric area. Giant pandas can currently be found in 6 mountain ranges in China, totaling an estimated 2000 individuals in the wild, or a bit less. Can you believe that 100 years ago, there were possibly more than 100,000 giant pandas living in the wild? That means there are 50 times less pandas living in this world today. But the good news is that between 2004 and 2014, there was a 17% increase in the wild giant panda population. Tell me, have you ever seen a panda? One of the most, if not the most dangerous bear in the world, the grizzly bear. Imagine if they lived in most of the states and Mexico today. So let's talk about numbers. Around 60,000 wild grizzly bears are located throughout North America. 30,000 of which are found in Alaska. But in the early 19th century, there were about 100,000 grizzly bears. They lived in much of the American West, from the Pacific Ocean to the Great Plains. Did you know that on average, two people are killed every year by bears in North America? The American Bison they can currently be found in conservation herds across the United States, Canada and Mexico, totaling an estimated 500,000 individuals with around 30,000 in conservation herds. But can you believe that 150 years ago, around 30 to 60 million American bisons lived on this continent? But the good news is that conservation efforts have helped to increase the numbers a bit, but still, we have killed most of them. We already talked about the grizzly bear, but what about the brown bear? They can currently be found in parts of North America, Europe and Asia, totaling an estimated 110,000 individuals worldwide. It is not certain and known how many brown bears used to live 100 years ago, but just by looking at this map, you can see that we have lost a lot of them. Also, the climate change plays an important role here. Tell me in the comments, do brown bears live in your country? And if you comment, I will give you a heart, I promise. The Woolly Mammoths the woolly mammoths once were widespread across the northern hemisphere, particularly in North America, Europe and Asia. Today, as you all may know, they have gone extinct. But at their peak, they had a population with estimates reaching around 10 million during the last ice age. Exactly, they used to live from Spain to Canada. But sadly, yeah. By about 4,000 years ago, woolly mammoths went extinct. The dodo bird The dodo bird, once native to the island of Mauritius in the Indian Ocean, had an estimated population in the tens of thousands before humans arrived. But they used to inhabit the lush forests of Mauritius, an environment that is now completely inhabitable for them because of the climate change. By the late 1600s, the dodo bird was driven to extinction due to hunting and habitat destruction. This was only a few decades after first humans had encountered them. So yeah, sadly, the dodo bird went extinct around 1681. Out of all states, I am extremely surprised that the open carry is prohibited in Florida. Anyways, America is crazy. How the hell are you allowed to openly carry a gun? What the hell? I agree. I went to the military and guns can be fun. I understand that it's for your safety, but that's also the reason why you have so much shootings at certain places, if you know what I mean. Here is a more updated map of countries banned from the Olympics. The third place goes to Germany, the second place goes to Russia and the first place goes to South Africa. 
As we can assume, the Olympics doesn't like it when you lose world wars. Anyways, one honorable mention is Brunei in 2008. For failing to submit athletes' names on time, yes, Brunei's government was too lazy to even do that. What the hell? Map of drug cartels in Mexico in 2024. Mexico is such a beautiful country. It sucks that these guys are currently running the show there right now. With government corruption, low standards of living and drug-hungry United States, it's a recipe for disaster, am I right? The two strongest cartels at the moment are the Jalisco New Generation Cartel and Sinaloa Cartel. All in all, around 200,000 people in Mexico work for the cartels. Casualties in Europe during World War I To be correct, this is not casualties, it is deaths. Here's a big difference. France had 5% of their population dead, with around 15% that have been impacted some way or another by the war physically. Which explains why they surrendered in World War II. They had no intention of reliving World War I, even if that meant surrender. And to be honest, for Serbians, 16% is horrible. Another European map. The percentage of the European population who believe in life after death. What seems funny to me is that there is no data from the Vatican. But the real question is, how many of them believe in life after love? If you know what I mean. The percentage of population absolutely certain that God exists. The state of Georgia and the country of Georgia are really carrying this map, huh? Did you know that in 2008, when Russia invaded Georgia, somebody in the United States living in the state of Georgia posted in Yahoo whether they should be worried? Ah, Americans, I gotta love you. Again, no data from Vatican. I think they know something. This is the last religion map, I promise. These are the countries in our world where leaving your religion is punished. Basically, your travel advisory map, countries to stay away from, please. Bro, this is literally the middle ages, though I'm quite surprised that it's not a crime in Pakistan and Tunisia as well, good job. I wonder what did European leaders think 10 years ago when they started importing the third world? Look at Europe now, it has become the third world in many countries. Map of Africa on the year 1880, before the European scramble for Africa. I suddenly want to play some Hearts of Iron 4. But did you know that 90% of this map is either guesswork or outright made up? They didn't have fixed borders like we do today, so you really can't represent them on a map like this. Anyways, it's surprising that Egypt was so big and Morocco was that small. The biggest immigrant group in each United States state 100 years apart. 100 years ago, in the year 1922, they were mostly from Europe. Now, they are mostly from Mexico and other Latin American countries and it continues to grow that way. Okay, first of all, Russia, what the hell? But I think it's a bit misleading since a huge number of those immigrants are from the areas that were part of Russia. Today, they should be from Poland, Ukraine and Belarus. And what the hell did Norwegians do? They were tired of their cold icy country and they moved to Alaska and North Dakota. Here is a map showing how much does a beer cost in Europe. The average price for half a liter beer in restaurants around Europe. Bro, Norway is just wild. The beer is 10 times more expensive than in Ukraine. Central Europe and Scandinavia have the most expensive beer and Baltic countries may surprise many as well. But the real surprise here for me is Portugal. Really, I didn't know it was that cheap there. As well as most of Eastern Europe, Russia and the Balkan countries plus Turkey. This is a friendly reminder of how ridiculously big the Pacific Ocean is. 
I will now show you a video from a certain spot in this map in the Pacific Ocean. If you can guess this place, you will get a heart from me, I promise. If you did guess it, good job! This is Point Nemo, the farthest place on Earth from any land. It's also known as the Oceanic Pole of Inaccessibility. Oh yes, a perfect place for all of my thalassophobia friends. Which countries in the world have been female-led? Yes, these are all the countries that have had a female leading the country, counting from the year 1946. The winners are Switzerland and Finland. But now, looking at the real powers of the world, such as China and the United States, they have never had one. Well, maybe the US will have one now. What do you think? Who will win? Trump or Kamala Harris? The safest and least safe countries for LGBTQ plus travelers according to the Gay Travel Index in 2024. As we can see, Northern and Western Europe, the Americas and Australia are the safest. Meanwhile, India and South Africa surprised me as well. The least safe countries for gay travelers are the Middle Eastern countries, most of Africa and well, most of Asia. This one shows us the Armenians in the borders of modern Turkey, 2000 years ago and today. You know, I don't even want to comment about this topic because the comments won't be pretty nice. Yeah. The beautiful pink colored birds. Well, I guess they can be found on every continent but mostly in Africa. But to be honest, I didn't know that there were so many flamingos living in Europe as well. And what about Florida? They really have every animal there, don't they? And now I guess these blue triangles mean that they have been spotted there, in China for example. Let's move on with this predator, the cheetah. Around 100,000 cheetahs lived on Earth 100 years ago, but today the number has decreased more than 15 times. Today there's only around 5,000 cheetahs alive. Humans are literally the worst predator on this planet. However, tell me, have you ever been able to see a cheetah? Ostriches, the large flightless birds. They are the heaviest birds on the planet and as you can see, they can be found in Africa. It is estimated that no more than 150,000 ostriches remain in the wild. Although many species have already gone extinct, such as the Arabian ostrich. Call this little guy how you want, the snow fox or the arctic fox. As you can see, they live in most of the northern countries and territories, such as Alaska, Canada, Greenland, Russia, Norway, Scandinavia and even Iceland. But the Arctic is home to more than 630,000 Arctic foxes and they are not currently at risk from extinction, but populations are declining. That's sad. Now can you guess this animal? They live in Greenland, Canada, Alaska, Russia and the Svalbard archipelago of Norway. If you did, then great job, it is the polar bear, the most dangerous bear. It is estimated that there are currently around 25,000 polar bears worldwide, but without actions on climate change, we could lose them by the end of this century. Let's move on with the moose. As you know, I'm from Estonia and I can confirm, they are really common here. And they are the size of a horse, believe it or not, some species are even bigger. However, they are usually not aggressive towards humans, but if necessary, they can run up to 56 km per hour. And to make it more interesting for you, here is the moose population density by country. What can I tell, Sweden is wilding, as well as most of Scandinavia and the Baltic countries. 
Bats are fascinating animals, the only true flying mammal. There are over 1,400 species of bats in the world. That's almost 20% of all mammal species. They live basically everywhere on Earth, except the most extreme deserts and polar regions. But Central and South America are home to almost one third of the world's bat species. Now, you tell me, have you ever seen a bat in your house? Because I have. It was scary. We move on with animals in South America. Here's where the alpacas live. There are thought to be around 3 million alpacas worldwide with 94% living in South America. They are often confused with the llamas, however alpacas are often smaller than llamas. The kangaroos, there are four species of them, indigenous to Australia and New Guinea. The Australian government estimates that 40 million kangaroos live in Australia as of 2024. However, that's 13 million kangaroos less than 10 years ago in 2013. Again, another animal that we're losing. What you're looking at now is a map showing the most popular and recognizable kangaroo, the red kangaroo. Australians, tell us in the comments, have you ever seen one and are they dangerous or not towards humans? Time for another flightless bird, the penguin. Isn't it crazy that they can be found even in Peru and the Galapagos Islands? I honestly didn't know that. And the same thing with South Africa. I'm really surprised. And Australia and New Zealand, no no, this has to be a joke. In the world there might be more, but 44 million, that's the estimated penguin population in Antarctica. Where do hippopotamuses live? Did I say it right? Hippopo- ah, oh, whatever, hippos. As you can see in Africa, there are remaining 130,000 hippos left in the world, but there is actually one place where hippos are also living. That's Colombia and because of Pablo Escobar, they are spreading fast. However, did you know that hippos kill around 500 humans a year? They are one of the deadliest animals on this planet. Answer me this, what do we get if we put a horn into a hippo? Yes, you're right, a rhino. Now, you listen carefully. At the beginning of the 20th century, 500,000 rhinos roamed Africa and Asia. That was half a million rhinos. But today, in total, there are only about 27,000 rhinos left in the world. We humans truly are horrible. Let's move on with the closest animal to human, the chimpanzee. Chimps are native to western central Africa, living in the savanna and forests there. It is estimated that there are between 170,000 and 300,000 chimpanzees living in the wild. However, as an endangered species, this number is continually declining, because there were 2 million chimpanzees 100 years ago. Well, well, time for the slowest animal on the planet, the sloth. They also happen to be the cutest animals. Sloths live in the tropical forests of Central and South America. While population estimates can vary, it is generally believed that there are several hundred thousand sloths in the world. Believe it or not, but 10,000 years ago, this cute animal was around 3 meters tall. Uh, not so cute after all. Mosquito habitat in 2019. The colors show us the number of months per year when disease transmission is possible. Now, in 2050, mosquitoes are slowly taking over the world. And finally, in 2080, mosquitoes are taking over the world. This time for real. This is what you call globalization. Pears that are grown in Argentina are packed in Thailand and later on sold in the United States. I know it may be a cheaper version, but these pears literally traveled over 20,000 kilometers. Yeah. 
Here's a map of Europe showing where the most international visitors were from in each European country in 2023. As you can see, it's all mostly Germans, but as an Estonian, I can tell you that the so called Finnish tourists are mostly made up of people looking for cheap beer. I'm not even joking. These are the first five countries that recognized the United States. And it's basically all the countries that paid for the American Revolution. Plus Morocco for some reason. Who knows why. What you can see is the longest possible train route in the world. If you're crazy enough to try this, you would have to start the journey from Lisbon, Portugal then cross various European countries and the Russian landscape until you reach Southeast Asia. The journey ends in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam and you would have been traveled 17,500 kilometers with train. Did you know that the Mexico's northernmost city, Tijuana, is closer to Alaska than the country's southernmost state capital, Tuxla Gutierrez? Well, the conclusion is that El país de México es muy grande, wey. Another map of Europe because I know you love them. This time it's about the largest generation in every European country. And the conclusion for this one is that Europe has the oldest population in the world. Except for some countries, of course, like Sweden. And you know very well why. Well, well, how far away are you from Chile? Using Chile as a scale. Are you one, two, three, four or five Chiles away from Chile? And if you're actually from Chile, tell me about it in the comments and I'm gonna give your comment a heart. From 2016 to 2022, has the amount of McDonald's grown or decreased in these European countries? Anyone from Germany, Denmark or Sweden wanna explain to me why has it decreased in your country? Don't you like it? Look, the year is 2024 and still in many countries of the world, a woman doesn't have the same rights to remarry as a man. Well, Middle East will always be Middle East, but Peru, Uruguay, Japan and Italy what the hell guys? A female in Italy, for example, has to wait 300 days before she marries again, but this doesn't apply to men. This is an interchange in Houston, Texas, the United States, and this is an entire city center in Italy. And you know what? They are actually the same size. Believe it or not. Yes, this interchange in Houston is the same size as an entire city center in Italy with 30,000 people. An interesting map. The countries in blue is where Americans can travel without a visa. Does someone want to explain to me why Americans can travel to Pakistan but cannot travel to Bangladesh? Or on the other side, why they can travel to Paraguay but cannot travel to Bolivia? What the hell? These are the four countries the Cold War divided, Germany, Vietnam, Romania and Korea. But apart from that, which coat of arms of these countries do you think looks the most badass? In my opinion, it's South Vietnam. Just look at this beauty. In European countries, this is the currency that was used before the Euro. How interesting that Cyprus also had the pound. Obviously not the British pound, but Cypriot pound is how it was called from 1963 to 2008. What you're looking at is the largest industry in each US state by GDP. So this is for Americans living in the United States. Can you guess the largest company in your state? Here is a fun map made by Vielko Polska Maps in Reddit showing whether your country is written in singular or plural in Polish. And well, the bananas are just for funny demonstration. <laughs> Listen up, this map shows us all the countries where journalists have been killed or disappeared between 2000 and 2023 around the world. Syria, Mexico. Pakistan and Yemen are on the top of this list, so if you're a journalist, take care when you go there. This was Israel on June the 5th in 1967, and this was Israel on June the 11th on 1967, after the Six Day War. 
And to be honest, this is crazy transformation for just 6 days of war and overall 800 people died. Well goddamn, you just watched 1 hour of maps. You can now redeem your trophy by commenting 1 hour gang and I will give you a heart. Okay, bye bye.